Hey guys, and welcome to the eighth tutorial in the first steps and preparation series. Um, in this episode, we're going to create the materials for um, the glass of water and for the water itself. So let's just make a small change of scene here. Let's grab this glass and the wine. Let's move it only to the second layer. And let's grab this glass and the water. And let's only move that to the first layer like this. And now, of course, if we render this, um, that isn't fairly spectacular, okay? And nobody will say that this looks awfully realistic. So, um, for now, let's just hide, actually, let's just move the glass to the second layer as well, um, so we can just work on the water. And that'll look quite funny because it's like water float floating in the air. So, first thing to do, select it, edit mode, a, control N, just to make sure all the normals are recalculated. And then let's just go to the materials tab and let's just create a new material. And actually something I forgot to do with the last few uh, materials, we should name all those materials, okay? So let's just do that real quick because it's really unprofessional um, not to do it. And I basically never do that, although I should. So let's call that wood underline table. It's not like we have any other kind of wood in the scene, but, you know, too much information doesn't really hurt in this case. We call that um, wine glass. We call the wine in it wine. What a surprise. And then we are back at the water and we call that water. Once again, today I'm actually showing my creative side. Um, let's go back to this part. And let's once again render this just to see what it looks like. Um, rather unspectacular. And the first thing to change, as always, is um, is the diffuse color, okay? And in this case, we want to make it so that the diffuse color is actually something darker than white, okay? Like something around there, right? So we can still adjust that later on, and I'll show you why this is, in this case, kind of important. Or actually, maybe no, it doesn't really make a big difference, but yeah, anyway. We can list, leave the intensity at 0.8, and then we can adjust the specularity. And uh, for the specularity, it's once again rather simple. We just want it so that it's a bit um, harder. So we once again go to word ISO, slope of 0 0.304, intensity of about 0.2, basically the exact same th settings as for the other gloss, transparency. Ray trace, 0 0.05 and alpha of 0 0.05, um, a specular, specular uh, of 1, that we can leave that as it is, an IOR of 1.45, in this case we're actually going with what the IOR that glass is supposed to have, at least uh, as far as I know. We can leave the rest as it is, except for the depth, of course, we're going to turn that up to 6 as well. And then for the mirror, and let's just see what that looks right now. Let me just... actually, no, let me not pause the recording. And you can see this looks quite a bit like water, I think. Yeah, this is quite... this looks pretty nice. Um, one thing we have to change, though, is the mirror. We, we just checked that we didn't yet, uh, adjust it. We need to make sure that it has a reflectivity of... let's go with 0.6 for now. A freshness of 1.4 and a blend of 1.6. That's not the right thing, like this. Let's set the depth to 3 as well, as in the other file. And let's leave the rest as it is. So let's give this a render again. Let's see what that looks like now. And I think we're going to readjust the uh, Fresnel value once again, because yeah, let me see. It's just a tiny bit too much. It's just a tiny bit too much. Let's go with, uh, let me see, 1.8 on that one. This might already be too weak. Let's just focus on that. And one thing I could also show you, I'm not sure if I did that already. You can also go to camera view, uh, hit shift B. Then you can just choose this part. Okay, and now if you have 12, you can see it only renders this part and is therefore much faster. Um, but as I said, 
This is already a bit better. Let's just change that to 1.5 as well. Let's just see how that looks like. Yeah, that's actually... That's, that's, I think that's the way to go. That looks pretty decent. Okay, and um, yeah, this is a rather simple, a rather simple material. Also check receive transparent because it's going to be shadowed from the surrounding glass. Although that effect will be fairly subtle, maybe even a bit too subtle. We'll see. Then let's go to over here. Let's uh, let's select the glass. Let's move it to the first layer as well. And let's make the following adjustments. And I just noticed that I made one mistake. Um, if we reselect the glass. Uh, the the water, I typed in the IOR for glass, but it's it really supposed it's really supposed to be 1.33. Uh, let's just see. Let's just move that back to over there. Let's just see if that still looks as great as before. And it doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't look quite as cool as before. Okay, let's go back to 1.45. I really don't care if that's not physically accurate, as long as it looks better. Um, yeah, great. Okay, now let's unhide the glass. Uh, let's bring it back over here like this um, here we go now for this once again let's create a new material let's call it glass underline off underline water okay is there a G over there yeah there is and that's also safe for once in a while that's never a bad idea um, let's leave the diffuse as it is as well let's change the specular to once again 0 0.04 and let's Oh, I need to change that to word ISO. 0 0.04, intensity of point, point 0.2 actually. And also one thing, uh, let's just see. No, that's okay. Um, but the point 0.2 was transparency, ray traced, an IR of 1.45 uh, for glass as well. Um, alpha of 0 0.05. We can leave the filter as it is, fall off the limit as well, because uh, as we talked about that before, it's basically for um, to set in what way the base color um, influences the material. And since the base color is in our case white, um, we can leave that as it is. And we change the depth to six. And um, yeah, that's essentially all right. And then let's also check the mirror and let's type in the following things, 0.5 for the reflectivity, um, a Fresnel of 1.4, I guess, let me just see, exactly, and the blend of 1.6, um, a depth of 3, and I think we're good to go, let me see, yeah, the rest is quite alright, um, also receive transparent, and other than that, I think it's quite fine. Now let's render both of those together, and you'll you can already guess what that will be look like. It will be quite um. It will take quite some more time to render it. Oh, and we are still in um, the box selection mode, so we have to undo that afterwards. I'm just going to pause the recording because it takes too much time to render now. Okay, now that's what um, the close up looks like, but obviously we also want to see the full thing, and this already took. 41 seconds to render, which is not that much, but considering it's just that small, small of a part of the screen, it's still quite a lot. Let's go to zero. Let's go to hit shift B. Let's select just the whole thing like this. This way you can undo the selection. And let's hit F12 again. And let me just pause the recording once more. Okay, so it finished after two and a half minutes. Um, and I'm not quite happy about a few things. Um, or actually about one main thing, and that is that as you can see up here, um, because of the refractions, this is all like ref refracting wood. And I don't really want that. I want it so that it looks more like this over here, okay? And that is because of the viewing angle, okay? So we need to adjust the viewing angle in just a second. And the other thing is that you can see this milky part here representing where the water is. And I think that's because accidentally I also or not accidentally, actually, more or less on purpose. I also set that alpha to 0 0.05, but for water I want to go with 0, with the plain 0, okay? And filter of 0, that's usually, the rest is okay. So um, before we re-render this, let's just go to 0, and let's take a look at this image for one more second. Um, this line is quite below this upper part of the glass, about two, uh, one centimeter, if you watch from this perspective. 
and also um, it's much it's a different viewing angle if you compare that to over there okay so we want to adjust that and one other thing um, that's something my friends pointed out and actually also some po uh, some guys on blender artists um, I didn't even notice unfortunately which is uh, yeah which uh, shame on me um, but the viewing angle is not quite ideal and it, it's too distorted okay um, you're basically really looking onto the olives and also onto the glass but you're on only barely looking onto the wine glass and that's because of a uh, just imagine this being a very strong lens here so we need to change that as well so first thing to do let's select both scenes both scenes let's go to zero let's select the camera and let's change the focal length to 90 okay then let's zoom out and this looks much better already and now the problem we have is that we cannot see the olive so well anymore um let me just see i guess just about like a little bit back like this yeah i think it will look a bit differently from our original original scene then let me just compare that Hmm, okay. Yeah, if we don't like that, we can still adjust it later on. Let's just render everything together for once and let's just see what that looks like so we can actually compare the scenes. I'm just gonna pause the recording then and we'll see each other in just a few seconds. For me, it's gonna be a few minutes. Okay, so uh, the scene finished after seven, or no, uh, after eight minutes, which is already quite a bit. Um couple of things I don't like and something I discovered that I like. What I do like is this front part. I think this looks pretty cool. I like wood. What I don't like is that you cannot see the bottom of this glass because the bottom here looks really cool. And um, yeah, other than that, yeah, other than that, it's just annoying that they still don't throw any shadows. So we will have to do something about that, but that's not that big of a deal. I'll show you how to deal with that with, with a separate rental layer. Okay, so let's just use... Uh, Move that to over there. And also I hope you parented um, the uh, glass to the, uh, the wood to the glass already. So they actually move together with the olives as well. Okay, something like that. Also let's just turn it a bit around the C-axis like this. Okay, um, cool. And now let's just slightly rotate around the y-axis like this, so of even a slightly different perspective, something like that. I think this should be fairly cool. Okay, now one thing also, um, you can see it still just mainly refracts, um, the refraction still mainly shows the wood table. And I guess it's also because of, of the shape, okay? Um, this is less um, conical, it's less going towards from fat to thin compared to this glass. This is more like fat and thin over there. So we might just change that. Um, let's, go to th let's go back into modeling a little bit. See how we should we could go about that. Um, into edit mode. Let's select this lower um, word edge loop. Let's hit O to go into proportional editing. Let's go to uh, linear and scale that in you can see what happens it should do that more or less linear exactly and if we go to front view or just to one so we can actually see what happens from the side think about like that should be pretty much all right like this now one thing is important and that is that it actually scales to the same point okay so let's hit shift s cursor to select it then the dot at the period on your numpad uh, on your keyboard so now it actually scales towards um the or uh, the um, 3d cursor now s shift z so it doesn't scale it along the c-axis and now let's just put it to something that we like s shift c to just about right there or actually i, li I even like the bottom part let's let's just move the upper part s shift z that apart a little just like that and now let's go into edit mode uh, into object mode select the, the water edit mode c1 and let's adjust that accordingly as well 
um, S shift C. Let's just scale it together here on, on, on the lower end. Or actually, maybe it's my mistake. Let's just scale it up on the lower end as well to just about there. On the top there, let's just select that row of vertices. And let's just scale that up a little bit, shift C. Just about there, I think that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's actually quite perfect. Okay, and that should actually improve the whole scene a little bit as well. Um, so I'm going to give this uh, another final, one final render now with only this scene again. And yeah, and then I'm going going to come back to you guys and then we'll see if we need to change something else. If not, this tutorial should be over as well. So I'm just going to pause the recording again after hitting F12. And yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so this is our glass of water essentially. Um, yeah, it looks it looks quite good. There's still a problem with here. It it only ref refracts um, the wood, but we can still adjust that by shortening the table or by doing some other things. We could also adjust the IOR of the glass, but uh, I'd actually like to keep that at 1.45 and. Um, but yeah, for now it's okay, we can still uh, do some final changes in the end. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Uh, if, if you have any kind of questions or comments or ideas or whatever, please post them in the comments, as always. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next part.